welcome and I'll be discussing optimization toolbox in lab view for this video so as we can see that uh, I have a minimization problem uh, which says that this function should be minimized and subject to these conditions x1 plus x2 minus 4 should be less than 0 and 2 minus x1 less than 0 and uh, so standard optimization problem is always in less than equal to format and the function is always in minimization form and not maximization uh, i have a lab view program which can be used to optimize this particular problem and as you can see that this is the code uh, in terms of block diagram and this uh, operation can be done using a uh, mathematics and optimization toolbox and there are several uh, options here from which i can choose i have chosen the quadratic programming vi for this particular uh, video you can also choose constraint non-linear problems uh, which uh, can handle non-linear uh, optimization functions and non-linear constraints and this is unconstrained so and but i'm using this quadratic one then we have golden section which is for 1d and uh, pretty much uh, for all types of optimizations so uh, if i import this thing this vi into it i can see that on double clicking uh, i have got several controls in it which can be uh, used according to my need so if i just go to these controls and right click on them so these are the quality constraints which i am not using for this particular program but if i right click on it and i can create a control for all these uh, on the left side for which i want to change the function and for the right ones i can just display the indicator according to my needs so what i have here is the start option the optimization uh, objective function the parameter bounds so these are the upper and lower limits for my parameters then we have error so if there is any error it will display the code of that error and inequality constraints whatever my inequality constraints for this purpose we are doing with the linear inequality constraints the stopping criteria so what should be the gradient values or the parameter values for which i need to stop my optimization we have the minimum which is actually the values of parameters for example if there are two parameters x1 and x2 then these are the values of the parameters for which my optimization should stop then i have the f minimum which is the function minimum value at that particular parameters i have the lagrange multipliers so these come from the kkt conditions and if you will study the kkt conditions you'll get more familiar with the sql uh, uh, process and this is the error out so each of these could be created by right clicking and choosing the control or uh, uh, indicator options and likewise I have on the front panel I have these many options uh, which were there in the block diagram also and for this purpose we are going to optimize this function and for comparison I, al I will also run this on uh, MATLAB and you can see this optimization function I have formed in MATLAB my function is uh, x1 square uh, I've just broken it down and minus 2x1 uh, plus x2 square and minus 2x2 and for the constants I've just ignored the constants for this uh, function but I'll be getting the same uh, values of the parameters for which my function is minimized so I'll, my objective function value will vary and x0 is the starting point these are my inequality constants a and b and these can be uh, formed in terms of like this uh, 1 and 1 for the x1 and x2 and minus 4 uh, so this when goes to the right side becomes 4 and then minus 1 0 for the second constraint and minus 2 on the other side i don't have any equality constraints but if i have any equality constraints those could be filled over here then i have the lower limits and the upper limits of my uh, functions values and then have options in optimal options so what kind of optimization i want to run for this i'm running f min con algorithm and this these are the this is the basic uh, matlab format so this is the objective function the starting point a b are the inequality and a equal and b 
EQ is the equality and these are the upper and lower bounds. So if I now run this program, I have already run this to check it and I am getting uh, that at x1 equal to 2 and x2 equal to 1, the function value will be minus 1 and these uh, are the parameters and the function value at the point of minimum. So uh, now I want to run the same thing in LabVIEW. So if I go to my program and I can see that if I take some help regarding this optimization and right click and go to help then I can see that uh, my objective function should be in this format. So it is 0.5 into whatever my nonlinear function is. The Q should be the uh, middle matrix and then C and X. So likewise what I did is like uh, I can for, so it is 0.5 is the multiplier so I can use 2 and 2 here and for this I can use minus 2 since I have minus 2x1 and minus 2x2 uh, and if you calculate this you can easily get this q and for my inequality constraints I will just refer to my original problem which is uh, which says that it should be 1 and 1 and it should be minus 1 0 minus 1 0 and for this I should have 4 and minus 2 so oh this one 4 and minus 2 and this I can keep minus 100 this I can keep minus 100 so that I don't run into problem or I can keep a very low value so x min I will keep a very low value but you can refer to the uh, help or some other sources if you want to be precise with these values but I know that for my purpose it will work and now if I run this optimization I get 2 and uh, 0.998 as the minimum parameters and my function value is minus 0 0.0999 which is very close to what I got from MATLAB as you can see over here I got 2 1 and minus 1 is the function minimum value and I get very close values to like 2 and this is close to 1 and this is close to minus 1 these are my stopping criteria so uh, you can set the different stopping criteria like how small you want the gradient to be and all those things these are my language multipliers at the stopping criteria so this is uh, 0 and minus 2 so it shows that one constraint is active at the minimization point and this was all for the optimization toolbox we can also run MATLAB scripts in this so what we can do is just mathematics and so we need to go to an option I guess it is not here but there is an option like you can run the mathematics scripts also in uh, LabVIEW and uh, you, this script and formulas so you can math script and if I use this I can just import any MATLAB uh, call over here for example if I want to I have any MATLAB function I can call it from here itself and it will run pretty much similar but I need to give the uh, input and output to that particular value so that was all for the optimization in LabVIEW and if you want as I have already showed that you can use different uh, optimization algorithms for this I am using sequential programming language for sorry for sequential programming but you can use others too and it is an iterative process so you need to uh, specify the maximum iterations or the maximum function calls you want to uh, do so that you converge uh, accordingly and thank you